You may not want to hear this, but some researchers are convinced that the extinction of the human race is inevitable. Yep, apparently we're up here with the California Golden Bear, the Messenger Pigeon, and the Tasmanian Tiger. But don't fret, it's not happening anytime soon, apparently. In fact, the researchers estimate that our last day on Earth is somewhere between 5100 to 7.8 million years from now. So while we may not need to panic about the end of our species anytime soon, today, Brainiacs, we lay out some of the most prevalent theories from scientists, and yes, even some conspiracists, on how the human race may eventually go extinct. But before we dive into absolute crazy town, it's important to know that in our Earth's history, there have already been some major periods of extinction. After all, how else do you think the dinosaurs disappeared? Scientists generally agree that the dinosaurs, a dominant species that roam freely on this planet, went extinct about 65 million years ago between the Cretaceous and Tertiary periods. Rocks of that age contain traces of an asteroid that struck Earth generating catastrophic events from floods to global wildfires, and rapid climate change. But that's not even some of the worst of it. According to the researchers, there have been five major extinctions throughout Earth's history. Commonly referred to as the Big Five, the most detrimental of these extinction periods is referred to as the Age of Permian, which is said to have wiped out an estimated 90% of the Earth's species. Less than 5% of animal species in the seas survived, and on land, amphibians and reptiles were among a third of the species that lived to see another day. Even all the trees died. But even if the vast the vast majority of species went extinct at this time, you can't ignore the fact that somehow we still made it to the other side. Now that's some resiliency. So even though the science says that we're currently going through the sixth major extinction referred to as the Anthropocene, one way to see this anticipated fate is a number and odds game. When we consider that 99% of species that have ever lived on planet Earth have gone extinct, it's actually pretty reasonable for the lab coats to deduce that, yeah, we're next. But at the same time, it doesn't exactly look great on our human report card when we consider that we are currently experiencing the highest levels of CO2 concentrations, the most dramatic climate change effects, and rapid natural habitat destruction. So sure, climate change could be the cause of our extinction, but what other theories are out there? Well, kids, there's always the fun nuclear warfare. According to 2018 statistics, there's an estimated 15,000 nuclear warheads that belong to military services throughout the world. So being blown to smithereens? The blast alone doesn't completely obliterate our kind, then the effects of radiation such as disease may finish us off or alter our DNA makeup as we know it. Other theorists think that the way we're gonna go is due to a global pandemic. Now more than ever, we are traveling farther and more often than ever before. And while modern day science and cutting edge research are making great strides to combat diseases, again, leave it to a few people to use that exact technology to spread a global pandemic. And if none of these theories seem likely to you, Brainiacs, then hold your flying saucers, because some researchers are convinced that extraterrestrials are moments away from making contact with us. Maybe they're green and friendly and small and want to ride a bike with you and eat Reese's Pieces in the sky. But on the chance they're not, other space beings just might want to make Earth their home all of a sudden. Uh-oh. So whatever theory resonates with you most, don't go shaking in your boots worried if your kids or your kids' kids will experience the end of humankind. There are many measures being taken in case the end of tomorrow is right around the corner. From investing more into space travel, habiting other planets, green gas emission solutions, and conflict resolution efforts, there are smart and diplomatic people right here, right now, figuring out exactly how to avoid this from ever happening. After all, we'd have to be pretty lazy and not to mention unmotivated to not want to protect ourselves. We're no pea brain dinosaurs, right? If you like this video, Brainiacs, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more non-dinosaur pea-sized brain content. After all, we don't want to end up like a fossilized T-Rex either.